डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब आंबेडकर ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर शशिकांत भगत वेलकम यू टू दी सेकेंड यूनिट ऑफ आर डिजिटल मीडिया सब्जेक्ट यू आर स्टडिंग इन मास्टर ऑफ जर्नलिज्म एंड मास कम्युनिकेशन इन द प्रीवियस यूनिट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड एंड टॉक्ड अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट मीनिंग डेफिनेशन अंडरस्टैंडिंग स्कोप ऑफ digital and social media its landscape in this unit we are going to talk upon the different audience available in digital platform digital landscape so the structure of the unit will be like this it will cover the following areas of the digital audience starting from introduction learning objectives emergence of digital audience importance and composition of digital audience inside the mind of digital audiences what is audience analysis need for audience analysis conclusion and at the last we will see some important questions of the unit the first introduction knowing the audience of a digital product be it a website application or social media pages or groups is the key to success in today's network world as we as we generally say in the field of journalism and any other uh, social sciences field like audience is the key to success both professionally and personally what it means means in the social sciences whatever you produce that directly reflect to the audience and audience is the ultimate recipient of your content audience is the ultimate recipient of your messages and therefore in the point 1 it says that the success in today's network world is to understand and map the right audience and provide the right content at right time in a relevant context each such product has its own unique set of visitors which may have peculiar likes and dislikes this point is important in a way to understand that every uh, forms of mass media be it print electronic radio digital public relations corporate communications and any other allied fields in every forms of content there are different set of visitors there are different set of audience whom we generally produce the content and disseminate to them so it is very very important for us and important for the audience that content must be produced in a such a way that it liked shared forwarded and appreciated by the audience the digitalization of knowledge has reached such a stage the st study of digital audience has become a branch of a study in itself which has acquired great relevance in the world of marketing and media yes this is very very important point um at the advent of internet and digital world almost every field has emerged and interlinked to each other therefore there is a possibility of intersection of audience at a point and it has become a very cumbersome process for the entity for the organization to understand and to map where is the audience what is their likes what is their dislikes what they prefer what their wants what the needs what time uh, uh, they they seek the particular information so nowadays almost every forms of media it has become 24 by 7 into 365 days 
because of the internet connectivity at everywhere at every places therefore the term like uh, big data data analytics data journalism has emerged in last uh, last decades i may say and therefore it is very important for us to map to understand the data and the basis of the data analysis we come to the conclusion that what is the way ahead what is the road map of creating a good content audience centric content and it is very important to understand the branches of data and therefore the uh, uh, separate specialized data analysis study has become the core front in academia both in management media engineering medical and other allied field characteristics and preferences of digital audience have a direct uh, impact on content strategy of major brands on their website social media pages apps see in the digital world this all terminology we may use uh, product and services and ideas it's in the form of website technically it's a product app is technically a product pages apps technically it's a product for the creator for the audience it's a service and therefore to understand the characteristics of each medium and the allied audience it is very important as a marketers and editors of a particular uh, media operations he or she wants to observe the changing preferences of their audience to take marketing and editorial decision a journalism student should these trends to know how to engage with the connected audience and you know uh, uh, just because of the 24 by 7 internet connectivity and especially on the smartphone it's a just a like another uh, clicking device apart from the television and radio it's another clicking device so the preference of the of the audience it keep changing in fact what we have studied in uh, uh, from last uh, two decades that the you know attention span has also gone down it is not only the content consumption uh, pattern has gone down it earlier it was a long form of uh, content people used to uh, see and read and prefer but nowadays the people also wants to see lesser content short form of content therefore it is become the very important aspects a very important exercise of both the marketer marketing manager of a particular media houses or a company and the editors of a news paper magazine or any other uh, channels and radio stations that to observe the preferences of the audience and based on their preferences uh, the particular media house try to create the content and disseminate on the regular basis because ultimately it is a service oriented uh, uh, you know area where every day you have to satisfy in the needs of the audience and what is the need of the audience that is the right information at right context on the right time look at this picture a person delivering a message delivering a talk on a certain topic and the audience are sitting though it's a, a heterogeneous audience gathered from different walks of life but there there the need need is what need is what the delivered content must be understood by the audience and therefore as a speaker or as a content deliver you have to have a very conscious effort that when you spend time for uh, for the given uh, stipulated time you have to deliver the right content therefore it will create the impact and again and again the visitors the audience will come and listen to your uh, listen to your talk and program so therefore audience is the key to success as i said in the beginning now in this unit of 2 what would be the learning objectives the learning objectives would be to understand the definition and concepts of digital audiences analyze characteristics of digital audience in its early phase 
study factors responsible for the rise of a digital audience, study the psychological aspects of digital audience and to understand the user behavior using different communication theories. Theories and models is also a very important aspect in uh, journalism courses. Unless until you will not uh, study the theory and model, you will come, uh, you will not come to know that what has, wh what was happened in past, what is happening at present and what will happen in the future in the arena of media. Now, after completion of this unit 2, you will be able to understand the differentiate between traditional audience and the digital audience. What was the preferential style of receiving the content of a digital audience uh, and the traditional audience? What is their preference as a, at present and what the future will looks like? So, uh, you will be able to gaze, you will be able to understand. Study how concepts of psychology are used by UX designers, that is a, a website designer, or graphic designer, content designer. Understand the importance of digital audience for communicators and grasp concept of audience analysis. <coughs> Going forward in the unit, let us understand the emergence of digital audience. The concept of digital, the concept of audience has undergone a massive change with the arrival of digital technology. This change has been more acute ever since smartphone, mobile phone devices become ubiquitous in our life. So, it is, it is a completely a fully, comp fully component of our 24 by 7 life. Okay. And therefore, audience is carrying its own image, it is uh, it's ca uh, carrying their own uh, needs and demands of the preferential content 24 by 7. And therefore, it is like a, it is a app is like a organ of um, uh, smartphone, where each applications, each content directly connected to the internet world. Old definitions and classification of audience in terms of engagement with it no longer operate in the network world we live in today. So, earlier concept of the audience was something different because uh, uh, it was a segregated medium, it was not the immersive and convergent medium, but at the, uh, at the age of 20, I mean 21st century and 22nd century, so everything has become immersed, convergent intersect to each other. So, in the definition, we say audience means the people who are reading, watching or listening to the media content through newspaper, plays, live in concert, speech of, of a public figure or any person, radio, television, advertisement, and any other other forms of media content etc. It desires engagement today and offers to be active participant in messaging which is enabled through technology. So, in, in the previous concept of uh, audience, what we have seen? We have seen that the people, the ultimate people who regularly consume the media content, we may call them as audience. And this audience is not stick to the one medium at a time. It keeps changing. Maybe for 15 minutes or 10 minutes, I am surfing uh, Facebook. Next 15 minutes or 20 minutes time, I am going to surf on Instagram. Then next 10, 15 minutes, I am going to surf on uh, YouTube. And next 15, 20 minutes, I am going to surf on other platforms. So, therefore, the audience at a time shifting from one platform to another platform and that is why I said in my session that uh, a smartphone has become the second clickable device. The rise of user generated content UGC, it is a very um, phenomenal concept, it is a very popular concept user generated content that 
people on the internet world, digital world, they themselves create the content disseminated and people like share and forward and comment and therefore it is called the user generated content. User who created their own profile, they are able to, they basically create the content disseminate on regular basis of, uh, and, and their friend circle and the followers who regularly see those contents like comments and share and forward to their family, friends and other groups. So, the rise of user generated content and social media have ensured that the message is not relayed one way from the creator to the audience while at the same time the boundary between the creator and audience is blurred. So, both sides could be generating content and different point of time. So, here it means uh, it is a two way communication process. So, two way communication process means what? As a content creator, I am creating the content, posting on social media and digital platform at the same time, immediately the people who follow me, they like it, they comment it, they share it, right. So, therefore, it, it has become the instant feedback system and we may say it is a two way communication process. The na, now, the line has blurred that in, in earlier time when television and radio were um, the only medium and newspaper were the only medium through which people satisfied their news views and information and uh, people used to send Indian letter, postcard. Um, for their content, for the editorial content or any the, any other content which they like appreciate. But now, the line has blurred, the line has uh, uh, completely cleared that in no time you just read the content and give the feedback, instant feedback. So, this, this line has completely blurred in the older time and the digital time. The enabling technology has a big role to play in changing the characteristics and preferences of the new audience. Technology has emerged like anything in digital platforms, it, it is like a keep changing every now and then in every month or two months, the apps are getting updated, uh, the uh, operating systems getting upgraded, upgraded on uh, iOS and Android. So, preferences of the new audience. Uh, there is a social scientist that is Sonia Livingston and she is the scholar of a social psychology described the changing this changing scenario of the audience in technological world. She says that adopting this rather inclusive conception of new media allows a wider view of what is new here for the audience. First and most important simply we are seeing a significant multiplication of personality owned media. Old media familiar to us are being used in new arrangements of space and time as household come to possess multiple televisions, telephones, radios, etcetera, facilities, media like mobile phone and walkman. What is new here in the primarily to do with social context of use rather than the technological themselves. themselves. The social context of use are themselves part of a wider reformulation of the relation between public and private. What it means in the Livingston masses? It is clearly says that the Livingston has emphasized the social context of technology and conceptualized the social context of audience. Now, uh, the uh, psychologist point of view is that the social context has now diverted on technological aspects of the audience. For example, the same set of people, the person is one or group of people, the same set of people consume news and entertainment use at the same time use the digital services offered by 
governments, banks, non-governmental organizations and participate in economic activities like a digitally buying and selling services on the e-commerce platform. This two-way engagement with content like multiplayer gaming, online collaboration on software development, content production, social media engagements through live events has become uh, almost uh, almost uh, 24 by 7 engagements across the globe. People sitting in India watching the live in concept happening in US and Los Angeles and Australia and other places. At the same time, people from there, they are watching the regular and live content of India, Ahmedabad, Delhi or any other places. So, it has become the two-way engagement process and therefore, it has become the very uh, critical task of the data analyzer that what next? What is the next efforts that need to be made to engage the people? Because not only uh, content is important at the same time engagement and conversion the profitable the value of the, those content those, those medium is also taken into consideration. Based on observation one could say that critical difference between the old concept of audience and digital concept of audience is that we have to discard the magic bullet theory or hypodermic needle model of mass communication which is a very important theory and model in the field of mass communication which uh, you know uh, which which is still applicable in media world which says that which mean that the media must shoot the message at the audience or inject with the masses and therefore, that masses become multiplier when it, when it disseminated through mass media channels like a newspaper, television, radio or any other forms of digital and social media. There is another American theorist Wilbur Schramm applied David Borlow's technical model of SMCR that is called sender, message, channel, receiver, receiver to mass communication and equated traditional audience with the receiver in this chain who could only receive a message issued by a sender in a linear equation linear that is sender message channel and receiver form of delivery mechanism of the message. The emergence of Dennis Maxwell who, is, who was the British theorist very popular theorist, social theorist and mass communication theorist announced the end of the Schramm's model of communication of audience as a quant consumer with his new definition of digital audience. He defined in his book that is the mass communication theory about the audience. He clearly defined that audience as a seeker, consultant, browser, respondent, interlocutor and conversationalist in his book Maxwell's mass communication theory. Another important aspect of audience is that change with the arrival of digital technology was the personalization of content consumption preferences. At the height of digital spread today, one could say that the audience does not really choose its consumption pattern rather is fed by advanced technologies. However, there was a perceptible change in the consumption pattern when the audience started becoming digital. The role of the state and dominant content producer in choosing programming reduce the consumer could directly negotiate with digital platforms on their consumption choices. So, uh, uh, in this particular uh, session, we got to know the basic concept of audience, the uh, need of the audience in digital platform, what was the consumption pattern in earlier time and in today's time where digital product has emerged like anything. 
it was not only limited up to apps and uh, website but there are so many other forms of platforms emerged to the people and people consuming 24 by 7 so that's in in this uh, episode we'll meet again we are continuing with um, some of the other audience concept so till then keep watching namaskar Ya ya ha